Hey guys, Teresa here with Sippy Couture. I did a rainbow tumbler um, on accident. <laughs> it was like a rainbow galaxy um, that was supposed to be for a boy and it came out rainbow and it was not good. And I shared it with you guys, just kind of laughing at myself. And I will, no, you, y'all liked it. So we're gonna try to do it again. Um, no promises. <laughs> I know, I know what I did. Um, it just, you know how it goes. You can't ever make the same cup twice, right? But um, if I follow what I did, we should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, and do it. I have a ton of inks here pulled um, and I have pretty much every color. My main thing is that I don't like using every single color. I like my transition of color, color to be kind of a natural um, blending of the two colors that will make, you know, like if, if, if when we get the purple, I want to go more of like that red and blue to get to where I want to be. So hopefully I can do it for you guys. Um, I have the colors pulled. What I'll do is I'll have to keep the, um, the lids off. I've decided I'm going to keep the lids off of the ones that I use to help and show you guys. So we're going to start with a highlight yellow. This is um, a neon yellow that I mix with alcohol ink. I'm using this. I do have a neon yellow already, but I'm using the one that I mixed because I know that it's, um, it's weak. It's a very weak color and that is what I need. So we're going to do this and then we'll outline that in like the real neon. And what we're starting with, this is a 20 ounce prepped uh, skinny straight tumbler from Stainless uh, Depot. So we're gonna take our neon and we're gonna have this be the center. This is where this is where main, you know, our main line is gonna be throughout the whole tumbler. And I know this is very light. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but we really need it super light for this step. I don't want that middle to be, you know, a heavy color at all. I want it to be almost where it looks more white. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that, you know, with this really really light color. I do have another color that we'll be using to bring in a deeper yellow. Um, we're just not doing that yet. So our main thing right now is to map out where we want this yellow to lay. I know I want it around here and I don't want it in a straight line. So make sure when you're doing it to kind of fan it out a little. So like I gave it a line, a big old hump, and then I'll go a big hump down. And then I'm going to have two main sides of the cup for color. On this side, I want the yellow at the top, and on the other side, I want the yellow at the bottom, because what we'll do is it will fade into the other colors, um, it'll fade into the blues, and then the rest of the cup will be purple. So I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm doing that exact same thing, but from the bottom. And guys, please stick with me. Like, please just, I'm gonna try not to make this uh, be a long tutorial. I'll do my best to explain it as quickly as I can and show you guys, but um, I haven't quite mastered that and it might get long, so I'm sorry, but I promise it comes together. You'll have to watch it kind of come together, so just deal with me, please. Um, I don't even care if you like walk away from your phone and not watch, just just wait, please. <laughs> Begging, it'll be worth it. All right, so that's where I have my yellows. And then we're gonna keep, all right, that's gonna go down to blues and greens so it's okay if that yellow carries down if you see it it's really faint and it kind of touches right here this part will go green so it's okay if that stretches same thing right here it's okay if it stretches out because where these two colors will meet somewhere will go green and then we're finished with the um homemade funky one we're going with the good stuff i'm pretty sure i got all of my inks from mr nola's glitter um i'm in mandeville louisiana they are right across the lake from me and I really, I'm really big on the shop local thing. And everything they have is so amazing. Their shipping is crazy quick. So, um, which I probably should have got the sky blue that I'm out of, that I'm really not happy with before I did this, but it'll be fine. We can, um, I'll show you how to dull that color down. But Nola's carries all these inks. If I have a, if I was to say a preference, I like the um, the pinata inks more than Tim Holtz. I feel like they pack more of a punch as far as color, but you know how it is with some of these inks is that they don't make the colors in you know every color. So you'll have to find a, the one you're happy with. All right, so I have my light and my darker. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend the line of where that fell. Um, this was alcohol, don't know, if I, don't know if you saw that, sorry. These are magic erasers. Um, I don't know if I said that yet, if I did, I'll say it again. Um, I use magic erasers 
whenever I'm doing these, they hold on to the color a lot longer and I'm really happy with that. Um, I've tried sponges and a few different other things. I don't like how that little round dauber thing leaves uh, fuzzies all over my cup. That drove me nuts. So I use Magic Erasers. They don't have to be the name brand Magic Erasers. Uh, if I'm at Sam's and I remember that I don't have any, I know I don't want to make another stop, then I will grab the expensive stuff and just use those. But I've definitely gone to um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar 25, wherever, however much we cost now. And I've used the ones that they have. And they worked fine. The only thing to definitely be careful with with Magic Erasers is that the alcohol will want to wash off the white paint if you have too much alcohol on your, um, you know, on your little sponge. And if you're really rubbing on the magic, uh, the magic eraser on the cup, you'll take off that white paint, especially with the alcohol. So be careful. Um, if you see somewhere that's getting a little too saturated, leave it alone, go back to it. Don't let it, uh, you know, start to get away from you. Okay. So that's a big part, but we're going to need this yellow to bring out some of the orange and then we're going to need it for the green. So it's fine if that piece gets big. All right, so we're done with yellow. I'm going to keep my lids off so I know what I'm using for you guys. And we're going in with, um, with yellow. <laughs> I guess we weren't done with yellow. We're going to go in with some bright yellow. Um, like I said, I do soft transitions of colors. I don't really change to orange um, just yet. It's kind of the soft blend of colors that really makes this whole thing work. My husband is in the kitchen probably like, you are crazy. All right, so we're just gonna give a bunch of blobs. And look, this is gonna look like a hot mess, guys. Like I promise, it is gonna look so, so bad before you think it starts to look good. And I guarantee at some point in this tutorial, I'm gonna be like, yep, I'm gonna have to scrap this one. But um, y'all just stick with it. And I'm convincing both of us right now. like. When it gets rough, just stick with it because it will be so good. It's gonna be so, so good in a minute. Well, like an hour. <laughs> Either way, it'll be good. All right, so I have that yellow down. I'm gonna take my um, brighter sponge that I had and I'm gonna blend where I just dropped that yellow. And I don't know if you can see. My only thing is that I don't like giving like a really straight line like I just did. <laughs> so I need to go through and kind of wipe some of that off. Once you blend it down a bit, it'll do what you want it to. Watch how many sponges I use during this, guys. It's so funny. Because I try to use a different color and I try to keep going back to the color, but at some point, I just use them all. I easily go through a full sponge when I'm doing this. That's why I use the cheap ones a lot of the time. cheap. All right, so we're going to keep blending out this yellow that we just laid down. And mainly I'm blending just to make sure that I don't have any really straight lines. Um, I know that's a really straight line. I'll show you what to do in a minute. So we'll take, you can take a magic eraser for this and take your alcohol, just use your little pump bottle. I got these from Sally's and then you can use that. Uh Oh, there's blue on there. You can use that to kind of wipe through, kind of get rid of that line a little, which is such a great thing about these alcohol inks. If you get to a point where you really don't like what you did, uh, wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. I had 91, 99%. What is this? I don't know what I have. Probably 97% if I had to guess, because I got a whole bunch of them from um, from Sam's. My husband went one time and found a ton of bottles before they had a limit one. So please don't be mad at me. Don't start hating me. Um, so he just got a lot of them. So you take that, dab it in your alcohol, and then just use that to clean up your lines and kind of erase what you don't want. All right, so, and like I said, we want that to be light and soft. So we're gonna keep that and go away before we mess it up. And then I'm taking some of these lines and moving them down. All right. And just like that, I have three yellow. 
crap, I messed with that. I try so hard. Let's see if we can take that out. So I think that if it's going up right there, I'll want it to kind of reflect that and go up on this side too. I'm gonna take our bright yellow. And bring that in. We'll also be blending this with the little spray alcohol bottle that I have, so it's fine if we just let it be for now. So now we're going to move on to oranges. Hopefully I can get this to blend enough where I don't have to use a red, but we will see. Um, I can't see what that is. 91. It's 91%. Thank you, babe. 91% alcohol. Uh, I would not use anything less than 91% alcohol in this at all. Uh, I would use stronger, but be really careful if you go stronger because of the, uh, because of it possibly taking away the paint, but I definitely wouldn't go kind of any less than that. All right, so now I put it on this straight edge so I can have a little more control, but I don't want straight edges, so I'm just gonna twist it as I go. And I'm sorry if I get a little, oh. <laughs> I had this pulled back and it just flung across. We'll fix that in a minute. I'll show you how to fix that. Um, sorry if you get a little quiet. Um, I might just be concentrating or second guessing myself, which is um, more, more possible, more likely the case. All right, so we need to get rid of that. So we just dipped it in the alcohol and we're going to wipe it up. Uh, we're not going to go clear off and wipe it up. We're going to do more of a blending wipe up. That way it plays it off a little more. The only thing is that when you have some of these heavier colors and when it does go across like that, you might get to the point where it will leave um, a, like a heavy pigmented area. Like it will dye the cup so quickly. Not that big of a deal. Easy enough to take care of. Um, just a heads up. Be careful. All right, now we're going more. I'll need this. That will have to go green right there. So I don't want to bring it too much more. I think green right there. Possibly. I have to bring that down, actually. I have to close in this. I have to close in this. So what's going to happen is that I want it to kind of naturally rainbow on its own. Problem is that this yellow is so wide, it's gonna go, it won't go as planned. My colors will muddy up. Once I get, you know, those purples to that orange, it will not go all that great. It's fine if it goes black a little because it is that galaxy theme, but we don't want it to go a funky brown. One of the things to really be mindful as we go darker with the colors is that if you're wearing gloves, um, you know, the color is going to be on your fingers. So when you grab your new little piece of sponge and you dip it in your alcohol, you're going to have a pretty decent um, mushed up sponge and mess that you'll want to be careful you won't transfer. All right. We want to be able to see orange from every side of the cup. There's a lot right there. So we've got we to gotta make that something else. Let's see if we can kind of dull this out a little. I'm hoping some of the colors in here will just give me red. I may have to add a tiny, tiny bit, but it won't be a lot. Unless I have another orange pulled that might do it. What is it? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Calabaza orange? I don't even know. I don't know what that is. All right, so we're just blending these lines, making sure they're not 
really harsh anywhere or a super straight line. I feel like it's always weird to see like a really, really straight line on a galaxy tumbler. It doesn't quite work when it's supposed to be stars. Not in my mind, not for me at least, not the way I like them. Okay, so my other thing is I, I don't like my colors just to end in one certain spot. Um, I really like for them to kind of fade out or carry on until it, uh, you know, goes off the cup or transitions into another color. So I just keep blending those areas until it uh, turns into something it wants to be. Did it again. I did it in that same spot. Goodness. That's gonna be the spot of the cup that's gonna get a decal. Like if it's going like that already, if it doesn't like me already. Okay, let's try to clean that up again. We're doing the same thing. We're staying in the inside of it, but we're gonna take it into that. Actually, while I have this, I need this color for green. So I might as well just give myself more options with it, right? Okay. So then I was here, and let's make that. Blend that out a little. Oh, look at that. That almost has a red look to it. Oh, I hope I don't have to use red. I can't quite explain how much I do not like that color. I'm sure some of you do. I just don't. All right, yay, this works. Okay, this totally works without having to use that color. Um, I have no idea how to say this. I don't know how to pronounce this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just on that line. And look, you probably won't see a lot of red in this tumbler. Um, there'll be a tiny little pop in there, but if I can help it, um, it won't be a lot. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a stupid red. I'm gonna use it like tiny, tiny bit and I'm gonna throw it across the room so I don't have to see it again. If I can use it just once and just to highlight inside of these orange pieces, that could work out great. All right, so we're just going inside, like deep inside the orange. We're not going where it fades on any spot. We're just going like a few deep spots through it. And that is all, that's all I wanna use of that. Put the sponge away from me. And go back to this almost orangey red color that I can't pronounce. All right, now we're gonna blend that red into the orange. So blend it at the top and on the other side of it. On the top furthest away from the yellow, fan it out a little so that you'll have that kind of red go out and it's deep. Um, it'll give it a lot of depth to that color. That's one of the things is layering these colors. That's really why, and if I do any type of um, rainbow or unicorn design, I don't bring in, I do my best to not bring in every single color. I like blending the colors to give me the one I'm looking for. That way it's more of a natural blend and it's not so much forced jumping colors, if that makes sense. Like it's a soft, pretty transition, not like it's blue, then it's purple, then it's yellow. Okay, so we have a few of these spots. We're gonna stop with that because we definitely don't want it to take over. And we're gonna jump to um, two blues. I love blues. We're gonna jump over to blues. 
and I'm gonna um, use my alcohol to try, try to wipe the color off my fingers because if not, it'll go purple a little quicker than I want. All right, like I said, I'm leaving open the ones that, I just hit the shit out of my elbow <laughs> on the table. Goodness, that hurt. Oh, why is he shaking his head? Why are you, what are you whispering? Can't say poop. Oh, sorry. I don't have to watch my words. All right, so same thing. I have a blue that um, I don't believe is as great as a sapphire blue that I have. I'm mixing my own. Um, I'm gonna try it. Man, I really hit the hell out of my elbow. So we're gonna go in with that. And we wanna go where the yellow will kind of transition itself. Oh, I didn't blend that. I'll go back to it. Um, where it will make itself go a different color. So I want it to, oh, look how pretty this part is. So I want this to go, we'll do this one, and then we'll make it go green right here. So I'm gonna go about halfway up. And I'm going super light with, uh, with what I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm going super light and I end up with that. Um, and that's why I use some of these colors that I did on my own. And then I want this to tie in, I never want it to just stop. So I'll see if I can go, I can keep that open somehow I'll have to figure that part out because I want it to go that way and give me an option this way too actually I have to go up this way I want it to go through here and then break up right here that's about where I want it and then right here I can go purple and then I'll need blue on this side. So let's go, let's carry this blue down this way. That will have to be purple, so it won't go too much. All right, so I have a quick little guide of where that's gonna be. See if I can get that as a middle part. This is where if I had that sky blue, it would be so um cloudy blue. It would be really pretty because it's like a softer. I don't like that color on its own, but um to use it as just a soft transition color, it's really, really good. But next time. Okay, that is <laughs> look how bad that came out. We're gonna fix it. I'll show you how to fix it. Let's just go that same section. All right, this is the sapphire blue. This is where some of these colors will really, really start to take shape. You'll see the um, where it blends with the yellow and it will just start going green. So this is a part where it's gonna start looking like a hot mess. Please just be patient. Give me a minute. I promise it'll be worth it. I'm gonna go here. And I need purple right here, so I won't go too heavy with the blue. And I already know that um, this blue hitting the orange is not the best look. So I'm gonna try to keep it just in that extra yellow part that I wanted, that I put down earlier. That way if anything, it'll go green, it won't go brown. So that's gonna go here. I want it to kind of, I can have it go into the green a little. And have that fade a little green. Get some more blue laid down before we switch back with that yellow.
and that will have to go purple a little more and green. So okay, now we'll jump back into this yellow. Try to outline that a little before we completely touch the blue and then we'll blend it in a lot. I think a green right here would look great. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's pull in some greens. need that to be purple so try to keep off of that line I definitely need green right here but I don't want it to take over so I'll fade it into that The good thing is that if you put too much um, of the ink, we could do just like we did before to clean it up and go in with uh, the alcohol, with the plain alcohol and just erase it. Okay, so that kind of went on a weird angle, so I just took some out. I figure out where we want this to go because I don't want it to go too much into there. Let's mess with these blues again real quick. All right, we're going to take our alcohol spray. I'm gonna see what's of these colors kind of want to blend on their own. Just give it a little mist. If you pump it too hard, then you'll have it go runny and we definitely don't want that, not, not at all. Not even not yet, just not at all. Okay, so you see how this right here started to do its thing? We're gonna encourage it right here because that will make a really pretty green. But we don't want to take too much away from the blue. So if you do it, just tap towards the outside a little, like on either side, but leave that almost deep vein looking color. And definitely on this part, be careful not to touch the inside of your yellow. That will be really hard to recover from. Do need a little yellow right in there. This is a good thing with these magic erasers is that they do hold the color for a minute, so it's easy to kind of go back and tap it. All right, so we have this orange. Oh, we need room for the purple and it can't go too quick. So this big spot of yellow that we had from earlier, we're still gonna make that go from the orange. Where is that red sponge? This one, not the red red, but the other one that I do want. All right, blend this. I need my green to happen. I know it's looking hot mess, y'all. Just hold out for a minute. All right. 
So be careful whenever you're um, using your kind of squirt bottle to get more alcohol, I don't know if I said this, on your sponge, be careful that the color from your fingers and from the other one isn't sitting on there or you'll just end up um, kind of muddying up your sponge that you're using. So just be mindful of that. Um, I always keep an extra rag close to me so I can wipe it off if I see that it's starting to get a little out of control. I don't think I wanna to touch this part that much at all. Might wanna wipe some away, <laughs> dropping stuff. Wipe some away where it goes off the cup, but I definitely don't wanna mess with that yellow too much. I like that. All right. There's a lot of blue right here. Like this will definitely have to be a major part of the green side on this side of the cup because that is a lot. Oh, can't use it. So <laughs> I just told, what I told y'all, warned y'all about, I just did. All right, so I can't use that sponge now. What color was I doing? This blue, green. I'll go to this one. So you see how this yellow drops down and then it's cut off? I don't like when it's cut off. I like for it to transition without it like stopping first. So I'm gonna take just the alcohol sponge and give myself a little clean path. Like just cut a line through that. And then we're gonna start adding the purple and this is where you should really start to see it come together. I have a few purples pulled. I have this, um this glittery purple. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I feel like I kind of need to because it has like a shimmer in it. Uh, villainous maybe? No idea. And then I'm going to go purple passion because it's punchier than purple twilight. So we're going purple passion. All right. And then I want to go kind of where the blue meets the red is where I want to lay this purple. Um, even if it's where the blue meets the orange, that's fine too. Okay, we have it there. And we're looking at the purple for this design. You know how whenever you see the galaxy tumblers and it's mostly black, I'm hoping that the purple for this will kind of play the role of that black um, and kind of tie into that uh, unicorn galaxy look that I'm going for. So it's fine if I get a good bit of it. Um, it's kind of the theme I want to go for this cup, which is kind of funny for me. I'm not quite a girly girl, so to do something that is uh, rainbow is, it's pretty funny. All right, so we're gonna go through here. You see how that, look how it just layers. Once we get the um, the alcohol, I'm so excited with this one. <laughs> Once we get the alcohol and spray it, it will really show what we're trying to do. It's gonna look really, really cool. It'll kind of all like wanna separate on its own. And it's almost, um, if I can explain this to you guys, when we're doing these, we're kind of backing off with the color, if I can explain that right. Like we're taking it, we're kind of backing it off. Like, you know, we're not building into it. Like I'm kind of, uh, I look at it as like we're backing off where that line is. No idea how to explain that. Um, and the reason why I don't want to say building up, because I don't want to build into the next color. Um, when I kind of back off with the colors is when I see it kind of go the way I need it to. And then we'll take this and we're making sure all of our kind of red meets yellow places 
have a little bit of purple running through it. And I know this looks like a mess, just keep on, keep on holding on. It almost has like that marbled look to it. I wonder if I could do a rainbow marble. Like, you know, you see the watercolor um, marbled alcohol ink looks. I wonder if I could do that without it muddying up. I might have to try that. If I could pull that off, that could be cool. I think that's the thing. I'm not, um, I'm definitely not a girly, a girly girl, but the fact that you can take all of this stuff that just makes a big old mess and you can actually turn it into something is kind of cool and I just love, I mean, I love a challenge. It'd be cool if I could pull that off. I'm gonna have to try it. All right, so we're kind of using this purple as a background. So I need more, a lot more of it, a lot, lot more of it. I don't want to crowd that red though, because once we spray that, it'll look pretty cool. So I'm not going to mess with that too much. And I can go here, purple and yellow. What color is that gonna give me? All right, I'm trying to wipe off my fingers. And there's a few spots I see that I need to go green. I'm trying not to have this be a long video, guys. I know I've said that. I'm sorry if I'm annoying with saying that. But I'm really trying to make it a point that you guys can watch this without being like, shut up, lady. Oh, wipe that off. Wipe that off before you do anything yellow. It really isn't the end of the world if another color gets in your yellow, but it's better if something doesn't. This has a potential of looking really cool. I think it's getting there already, but. All right, should I fade that green? I think I should fade that green before I go. No, I should fade this whole section green because that blue is just weird, isn't it? Let's see. All right, we're gonna kind of build it all the way up around. It's okay if this looks a little muddy because we could always add in a little more color. Actually, let's just ruin this sponge and go purple too right now, right here. Because that purple line, the way that it fell, you see how it's like a big, straight, awkward line? We definitely don't want that. We want it to be um, a little more flowy, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'm still going along this purple line and I'm um, mushing it in. The thing I don't want to do is mush the purple into the orange. It's cool if you mush it into the yellow. You don't really want to mush it into that orange. Because um, I just did that and it was ugly. So don't do it. Where do I want this to go? Huh. This is that spot that I said was too big earlier. Remember that? When I knew I needed more purple, and I was like, this spot's huge. Oh, I don't want to use that stupid red. I have to use a red, huh? Dang it. Okay, let's bring it this way. And 
and then have that spot that's big that I need more purple to go up. So might as well bring this stupid red this way too. Then I'll build it orange and then yellow. With a conscious effort to not get into the yellow. Make sure I throw that out there. There we go. Now I can take that purple up more and that's really gonna give it that rainbow look that we need. Wonder if I can force this. Can't go in too much because I just have orange on it, don't I? All right. It kind of gave like a violet type color. I don't know if I can explain it right there. You see that? Weird. All right, so I'm gonna blend through this red. I want that red to blend in because if I can take that purple and kind of bring it more that way. It's to go somewhere. Okay, so that way it built that there. So I need to go back. And you see, that's where I said that when you build onto it, you crowd the color where if you kind of back off of it, um, you're more of pulling the color away from it. I really, really wish I knew how to explain that where it makes sense. I hope that does, but okay, so look. So you saw how it went that way and I forced it down, um, kind of crowding that red where for me, if I feel like I've worked that color from behind, I can control a little more how it lays without it like jumping into a different area. And now I'm just blending that purple with that red. Oh, look at that thin line. Look how cool that is. This is the exact way that I do my marble designs too. Whenever I do like a watercolor marble, um, I usually don't do it with a magic eraser. I do it with a paintbrush. And, uh, um, oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to marble. This one to be in like a marbled unicorn galaxy. Wow, that sounds interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, this just took a whole nother turn. This is going to look cool. All right, guys. Um... This might end up being a little longer than I planned, but it could look so awesome. So uh, no hard feelings if you're like, you're crazy, I'm out. But if you stick around, thank you. Um, and how cool that this could actually work. I mean, I know it can work. I've done these things a ton. I want that red. Ugh, give me that color. All right. So I'm going to build a red line to go that way. Oh, I need to decide what I'm doing. Man, I wish this was a live stock. I'd be like, what are we doing, guys? Rainbow Galaxy or Rainbow Marble? Because this is where I can, it can really turn either way. What do I do, Gary? Huh? What do I do? listen so well oh man kind of looking at this spot I'm trying to figure out how I want it to build but I don't want it to be a pattern might need new gloves Okay, 
trying to make sure that is through here. Oh, I don't know what to do. I need someone to tell me what to do. All right, so this is um kind of a sponge dedicated to yellow right now that I'm making sure I have my everything's kind of mushed in a little. Mesh up this red and purple. This purple needs to be bigger. If I want this to be kind of like, you know, that background galaxy look. Why is that spot there? How cool does that look? I'll probably soften the inside it's had so it doesn't clash like that, but I'll show you how I do that real quick. So uh, just like we did earlier, take a straight edge. Um, some of the few times that we actually want a straight edge and you're just kind of rotating and tapping to kind of force a line out of it. And you don't want a lot because whenever we go in with the um, alcohol to kind of spray it, it will change on its own. See? And tap that out. All right, so now that looks so cool. I wonder if I can get this piece. Where's mine? The only thing I don't want is to see white. Well, there's a lot of things I don't want, but I definitely don't want to see like a big old white space. While we have this fairly clean sponge, we'll kind of soften some of these areas too. And not get, ah, that's dirty, all right. Okay, so this time I'm wiping. I'm not, I'm like dabbing and wiping. Um, that had a spot that I didn't want that color, so I'm just wiping it away. And then whenever we blob this through, it will come back the way we want it. Where's my purple? All right, blend the purple with the red. Dang it, and then drop it on the floor. I had three of them on the floor. That was the only one I noticed fall. I wonder, well oh, I can't, cause I like that blue right there. Okay. That's where it fell. I gotta figure out what to do with that because it's rough. I don't like that. That one's funky. All right. Oh, be careful. Dang it. I usually keep that alcohol bucket so far away, but I pulled it closer so y'all could see what I was doing whenever I pressed down, and now I just shot some alcohol at the cup. Easy enough to fix, but that's annoying. All right. One of the things with alcohol ink to keep in mind is that the more alcohol you add to the actual ink, um, you can actually make it change a different color. Like if you have purple, and if you add um, a ton of alcohol to that ink, you'll have it turn a different shade of purple. Um, could even go more into like a pinkish color. So just be mindful of that whenever you're reaching for more. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm kind of set on at some point doing a marbled alcohol because that would be too cool. Like the way that that line came out right there I definitely know how to thin that out to make it look cool, but this isn't that tumbler, so we're not doing it. 
if you want to see it, let me know. <laughs> I'll figure out how to do it. But um, maybe another, maybe another time. Just let me know if you want to see it though. And we're gonna blend out this red because it's just sitting too close. I know this wasn't my red piece, but this will work. I like guess fine if it's right there, but it needs to be a line that I'm happy with and that wasn't. And we're getting to the point where we need to know when to walk away. Um, just in case you're following this, now is when we get close to um, losing all control. I feel like that needs to do something. Like it's, maybe it needs more purple right there. I know. Look at it from far away and see. I think it does. I think. Where is it? That was it. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't love that spot. Okay. I'm just. I'm gonna make it really, really super irregular. And then. What do I do? Let's add blue on the other side of that. Like bold blue though, not like a soft little. Probably need to add more blue in a few spots here. So we're gonna take it um, with a straight line, but super, super irregular. Like to the point where you're almost touching on that purple line, just to kind of give it a little pop of blue. All right, we'll add this in a few other places while we're at it. And the way that I'm finding where to add it is wherever I see a bold blue sticking out, that's where I'm gonna drop it. I don't wanna really force a new color yet. Um, I'll have to turn it kind of right side up and see what I wanna do. But definitely anywhere that looks like, you know, bold blue, we're gonna add it. Oh, I'm stuck. Couldn't turn it. I think right here should be blue. Like that's green, 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 green. No, I'm at that blue. Let's go purple. I hope y'all like this. Like, I'm seriously only doing this because I know a few of you were like, um, a rainbow one would look cool. Please do a tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna thin this line out like a lot and just continue to drop it. There, wait, okay, there. And then we gotta clean that up. And then I think we'll hit it with the, um, <sighs> Then we'll hit it with a spray and see where we stand. All right, so I guess that will now be a little part of green since blue fell. And pick a different corner and try to repair that purple. Oh, and that, that's yuck. Um, just go a new one. Where the hell did I? Is that it? Here we go. Okay, cool. I like that. That worked good. This purple ends too harsh right there, but let's see if we can, if uh, alcohol will kind of change its mind. I 
and then we'll go and we'll fix that weird blue spot. All right, so I have a little alcohol and I'm kind of blending it there, but what I really wanna to do to get that color to change is that I'm gonna grab a yellow and I'm gonna dab the other side of that with the yellow. Um, it will work if you keep using that blue, but it will be much easier to turn it a different color with the yellow. I'm gonna go the soft neon yellow to see how that will go. And if it does it the way I want it, then I won't have to go any darker. Uh, if it doesn't, really want to go, then I'll grab kind of that bolder sun bright yellow. There we go. Look at that. Kind of just making it make sense on its own. Ooh, that is dirty. This is a point where if you're going to keep messing with this, change your gloves. Take a minute, change your gloves. Because if not, everything's about to get really muddy on you. All right, I'm going to use this to kind of carry in and switch up that color to cut, so that it, like I said, it went bad that way. Now I want that to make sense. So um, I'll blend some of that color in a few different directions and see what we'll want to happen. Uh, careful not to use that green side of the sponge though, since we are in that lighter colors. Okay. See how I went pink? Weird. All right, so then let's go more with my blue. Use the, uh, one that I had, but also take, I'm really gonna have to switch my glove, take my um, sponge and go in with my yellow again. Where was I? <laughs> Jesus, where was I? Right here. Okay, and then while it's still that wet, we can wipe them off. And then we'll take another edge and just go a straight little line through it. much all right let's see where else we can have purple go through that part just looks so cool like the way it just went everywhere on its own that just looks so cool i almost need to reverse it right here my green needs to happen i don't like that part i'm gonna cover that up i'm gonna cover that with purple because i would rather it not be like pattern okay and again i'm gonna turn it so that i'm kind of backing off the color instead of like piling it on i really don't know how else to explain that but i hope you guys get it I'm going to add more purple in here because that's still getting close to walking away, guys. <laughs> like, I know I told you you have to stop soon um, before you get out of control. And that was me talking to me here. <laughs> but you want to stop soon so you don't get out of control. Let's go. I think I'm going to have to bring in that. Oh, what side of this do I want? Go here. I have to bring in that bolder yellow to get more of the change I'm looking for, I think. So we're gonna focus on this green right here. I 
don't like that edge. That was a weird edge. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna take that brighter orange and kind of give myself, ah, can't use that. more of a blend all right so that's just bright orange to purple bright yellow hmm yellow orange red purple yellow orange I don't want it to do that. Like I don't want it to match on every angle. Sorry guys. I'm trying to figure out how I can get this part to finish itself up without completely throwing everything off track. Cause some parts I love and some parts I feel like needs a little more work. Maybe let's just blend it and see. Kind of forcing it to blend on its on its own like giving it the ink and seeing what it wants to do is super super helpful sometimes i know i don't want to mess that up i think it's a blue right there that's my favorite color i think that's why i'm kind of thrown off because it doesn't have like that good pop what if i should bring it right there oh that's too close to that How long is this? Oh, an hour. Okay, so then let's soften it with yellow. Okay, so I like that. I need that to not mess up. So I'm gonna grow up. Oh, just touch the back of the cup. to tie in up here somewhere. That transitions down. Okay, so as long as it's a clean line, uh, it stops right there and then we have almost that color. So we're gonna blend that. My purple went weird, so we're gonna also use the same sponge and back off of that color. Need to get away from my cup when I do that. All right, so I think this is pretty good for where we are. I'm gonna hit it with, um, spray some alcohol. And knock everything over. This part right here, you see how it's like one big clump? When we spray, spray it and get some um, alcohol into it, it'll kind of separate. You get too much alcohol, it's gonna run, so be careful. Just a little sprays and then we can come back to that. But we're gonna go through the whole cup now and hit it with alcohol so everything breaks up. Uh, that way, 
some of the white of the cup will kind of want to peek through in areas. It'll lighten up the ink enough to where some colors will peek through. See how that is right there? And then when we go to drop our um, inks, not inks, our glitters, it'll be really, really easy to play off of some of the colors that have separated. All right, blowing it just a little to make sure it kind of like force it to dry a little quicker without wanting to run. It'll also spread out to get some of those circles. We're gonna clean up that blob and then I'm walking away. I hope I'm walking away. Okay. Oh no, I'm not walking away. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Oh my God, that was close. I'm gonna get that because that is not, I'm so weird when it comes to these things. I don't like harsh lines. Okay. I like that blue. I like that blue. This is weird right here, but I don't hate it. I'm afraid that poking it will mess it up. Okay. So I think that's about, oh no, this part. Goodness, guys. All right, so be careful because this is where you're going to want to keep messing with it. I'm so sorry. You know what? We'll put a star right there. Where's my spray? y'all gonna hate me i'm really sorry i was trying to keep on time with this and then y'all tell me to quit apologizing but i feel bad so i have to okay all right that's where we are this is really gonna pop under epoxy I'm kind of excited to see what happens um stick with me we're gonna let this dry do not put epoxy on this right now give it a minute walk away let it dry some and then we'll go in with epoxy if you put epoxy on now when any of these inks are wet you're gonna have um colors going and turning ways you don't want them to turn yet so be patient um stop touching it Teresa and walk away okay that's where we are that needs yellow oh what do I do walk away walking away promise all right guys we're going on with the epoxy um this has fully dried my inks has fully dried so uh, they won't spread. And this is where you'll really see these colors pop. Um, they just, I don't know, this makes everything. They're so pretty. So we're using Speed Dry by Mr. Nola's. Uh, this epoxy is so great. It goes on fairly thick. Um, it leaves great, great coverage to where um, if you're putting this over glitter, you only need that. Um, well, in a lot of cases, <laughs> I've only needed one coat um, before I went on to my next step and was felt safe enough to sand it. So we're gonna put on this epoxy and then we'll go through and place our glitter. And I say place because I'm not gonna sprinkle it on, not um, the traditional way of you know turning your shaker upside down and really going at it. I wanna strategically place where I put this glitter because I feel like it leaves more of an impact. And then, oh, I just saw a piece that I missed. See, look, when I told you guys that I wasn't touching this anymore, I seriously did not touch it again. Like I put it down and walked away and now I see a spot that I'm like, should have touched that. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I don't like that. Um, well, we can cover it with glitter, so no big deal, but man, it would have been great if that was perfect. All right, so we're gonna get a good coat around it. Um, I don't need my torch. I'll use it just for the sake of better safe than sorry, but this epoxy just sets so great. Sorry, I'm getting my torch. Um, this epoxy, it, uh, the bubbles just pop on its own. Like as you're, as you're mixing, you'll actually see them rise to the top. And then by the time it gets to the point to put it on a cup, there's so many bubbles that have popped already. You really don't have to go in with your torch that much at all. Um, it's crazy because I remember in one of the videos Miss Nola did when she was talking about the epoxy and what she does, she said about not using a torch, she just used the heat gun. I was like, how do you not use a torch? Like, don't you have bubbles? And I was so confused by it. And then I got her epoxy. When I tell you that the bubbles pop on their own, I'm amazed. I'm completely amazed. All right, so we have our epoxy on. The glitters we have are, oh, Eliza Jane, just gorgeous Eliza Jane. Snow Day, 504, and Bonnie Carey. I also have some stars that we'll be using, um, and it's just the holographic stars. 
So we'll go first with Eliza Jane. And we're not gonna use a lot. I'm putting it on the paper and then I'll take a pinch of it and I'll sprinkle it kind of everywhere for now. I'll probably go back to it, but I'm gonna do a really, really light sprinkle. Definitely no certain spot for this. Opal glitters is what I absolutely love doing. I love using those for these designs. They just, I don't know, they work so great. It's like everything takes on a different color. All right, so that's all we'll put for those. Now the one that is really, you know, we put in a certain spot is we'll go in with 504. The thing with this that I like to do is wherever I see a spot that is light, like, where it looks like the glitter will kind of reflect off it, that's where I'm gonna drop this. And I kind of drop it in a little line. And I follow the line, like see how that is? So I'll go in with a pinch and I'll follow that line going down. If there's a spot where it's just a round burst like that, then I'll just drop a bit around that area. Drop a bit around that. And you really don't need a lot on your fingers. You're mostly just kind of like letting it letting what's on there dust away. Drop in the middle of that bright yellow, in the middle of this, because we need to cover that up at some point. Wait for it to spin to see where else. I'll do a little drop right here, because it's light. I don't want too much there, but I do want that line to kind of extend, but like bubble in one section, so we'll go there. We'll carry that line down. Little more of a drop right there. And dust them off and now make sure. Okay. And then I'll go in some of the blue spots. And I'm just rubbing a little so it can sprinkle down. Just kind of give emphasis on some of the um some of the lines. The really cool thing about, uh-oh, uh, fair warning, one of my kids is about to run in the house and I don't know what he's gonna be saying today, so, um, sorry. <laughs> Heads up and sorry. He's funny, he has such a great personality. Um, should be interesting. All right, so that's it for 504. We're going in with snow day. We're doing the same thing. Actually, do I want to? Let's go with Bonnie Carey first. We're gonna go with Bonnie Carey. The thing that I love about this one is that it's big flakes of a really pretty white silver, white, more of like a silver flash. And I kind of like using these as if they're stars. So we'll spread that. That will be one of the ones that we drop everywhere. The only thing I try not to do is drop it right on top of Eliza Jane. And then where I see some of the spots where I put, you know, like a healthy chunk on here, right here, I'll sprinkle this kind of around there heavy. It almost has that look of like, like the starburst type. Oh, that went too heavy. I'll have to push that out. <laughs> He's tiptoeing. What, Meech? No, I'm on a video, but I warned them that you would run in yelling or well, saying something. He bounces in so happy with all these stories of recess and how he won football or he played against something or all this magical stuff. And I'm like, shouldn't you be learning? Like, stop. Like, tell me about how good you did on a test or something great you did. Not. <laughs> no, you better not stop. All right, so now we're gonna take the stars. And these I definitely try to be careful with. I really like to place these inside some of those bursts. Like where I put that glitter before, that's where I really like to put some of these bigger um, pieces.
All right, make sure that's just one. Whew, it landed. <laughs> Thought I missed a cup. All right, so that big piece that I don't like, I'm gonna cover that with this star. And make sure a few more stars get around it. Little cluster of stars by that and spread out how that stuff went. I don't really like them to land in a straight line. So if I see any spots that are right my way, I take that out. Please don't give me grief for not wearing gloves. I know I need to be wearing gloves in PPE. Um, please be kind. All right. Now I have a big star there, but a few smaller ones. All right, and then I want to spread it out where from every angle you see the cup, you see a big star. So there was one right there. We'll go right here. There's one at the bottom, but a top one should be coming around, and I don't want too many. I have one right there. So I'm actually, I'm good. I'm not going to put any more of those stars. Spread those out because they're right on top of each other. and put this somewhere. Okay, so I saw a few spots towards the ends that were like absolutely no glitter. So I wanna make sure they get a little something, but not too much. And then I'll, now I'll go in with Snow Day. And I would be fine just leaving it right here, but uh the color shift in this one is so so pretty like it gives something extra whenever i'm doing a regular galaxy and this background is black then i will go in with um with like a fine glitter usually desire junior uh yeah desire junior sorry yeah desire and desire actually both of them i'll go in with those oh that piece is weird um I'll go in with both and really sprinkle that super, super light through there. You know what? I see a spot. Do I have that still? Yes. Okay. This might be all... That piece is still here. Get off me. Goodness. All right. Sorry. It's like meltdown. Sorry, guys. All right. So, I saw where I dropped a line of uh, 504. It's super clustery. So I have some uh, Bonnie Carey and I'm gonna drop it right in the middle to help that color pop out a little more. Just gotta find it. Where are you? right here okay I think that's it so that's all the glitter we're doing on there it's not a lot but um just the subtle parts that we do have is really really gonna pack a punch um I know I said that was it just you know you know don't judge you would do it too Okay, that's it. That's all we're doing for that. We're gonna leave it at that, let it spin. Um, I'm actually gonna take my heat gun in a second just to get the epoxy kind of moving a little more because what that will do is it will absorb some of that glitter. Uh, I didn't put a ton of epoxy where it's going to want to roll around on me or move. It's just enough epoxy to get it to, um, to kind of soak in that glitter. That way, whenever I go for my next steps, it's a little better. You know, one of the things I love about this epoxy, um, it is their fast setting epoxy. It's speed, uh, speed dry. But the cool thing about it is that there's a, I, look, I challenge the heck out of my epoxy. I will push that stuff to the limits. I really, really test it. And a lot of the times, whenever I'm doing coats of stuff, I'll go back 
and, um, and I'll try to hit it with the heat gun to get a few pieces to move or if I miss a spot. And those other fast settings won't want to do it. For this, it will um, it'll soften up just enough so I can move it, which is so cool because a lot of them go weird on you. And this one doesn't, and I think it's great. So that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. Um, I'll show you guys a great photo of this. What I'll do after this uh, layer in two hours. Gosh, it's amazing. In two hours, I'll go back, hit this thing with another. You know what? I'm putting a star right there. Sorry. I'm going to hit this with another um, coat of epoxy just to make sure all that glitters down in there. I don't think I want it saying on this. I have a great idea for a decal that I kind of think I want to hold off for. Um, if I come across a saying that might be a little better, I might go for it, but I don't know. Um, I think for right now I might just leave it. You know what? I put that star and I don't want that big one. I'm gonna pull it. And that we'll go with some of the smaller ones. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. Okay. Get off me. Stick to the cup. Goodness. So one more spot where I wanted one. I had the perfect one and it stuck to me. Look how great that worked out. Look, just a little cluster of four of them. Oh, I love it. Okay, try again. Mm. Yeah, I'm not quitting now. We're getting a star. a smaller star that I want because I'm passing it. Haha, <laughs> got it. All right. And if anyone's wondering, that's how stubborn I am. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Hope you like this tutorial, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Happy to help. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay. You know I do this. I said I was done. I'm going to show you what I do real quick. Sometimes these big stars, they don't like taking the epoxy. They'll just float on top. So I get the heat gun. I go through, I heat it up just a tad to get the epoxy to move, just enough to pull it on top. That way, if for some reason I forget um, and I try to take um, a sanding block to this or even wet sandpaper to this, I don't scratch up those big stars. They're at least covered a little. They're not gonna be completely covered, so heads up, that's not gonna happen, not with this coat, not with this coat that we laid it on top of. But at least this way, um, you know, if I happen to forget, hopefully I don't, uh, the, for the most part, it's taking care of itself the way the big parts I need are fine. Okay, now I'm done. Bye, guys.